Let's go to Brett, which is... Uh, you, uh, you, yeah. uh, sorry. Uh, hot, uh, hot as well, yeah. I mean, it has <laughs> moved sideways. I think uh, good underlying assets. Uh, they did raise 9.3 billion rand uh, recent rights issues, so they've got a bit of dry power So they've got a double well. hot. Yeah. I didn't mean to marginalize no you problem. there. We're now moving on to Brett, which is an investment holding company with stakes in Steinhoff. It has, uh, no, well, let's no just really look at this. No longer yeah. Steinhoff. Yes, it had the Steinhoff stack, well said. Premier Fu Foods, New Look, Virgin Active and Iceland. Yeah, those are the big three. Uh, Iceland, of course, I suppose you could say the big three and a half. Look, hmm. New Look is a European-based clothing retailer, which is currently caught in an unpleasant downtrend in fashion sales mm. in that continent. So we're going to see a share price here, which does not look good. Market cap, 48.2 billion rand, P.E. ratio of 2.2 and a dividend yield of 1.5%. So this is really, can we just sum it up by saying Brexit fallout? Yeah, I think that's a fair uh, summary. Uh, they did go heavily uh, into the, the, the UK economy, uh, principally through that New Look asset, which was the, the main significant asset. Very newsworthy because earlier today, uh, New Look came up out with their first half earnings for FY17, and they were down significantly, EBITDA down 28%, uh, off an 8% decline in sales. So just to give you an idea how hard Brexit is hitting the UK consumer, and here you've got a geared asset inside a geared investment holding company, and so you will see that in the share price, certainly. You know, just to, as a, an aside, a recent conversation I had with Finance Minister Praveen Gordon, he made the statement that politics is the single biggest destabiliser of any economy, using Brexit mm. as an example for certainly. the uncertainty that it's created. On a macro level, of course, if you look through history, the only thing that really undermines markets on a permanent basis is some kind of political dislocation or uh, you know, armed conflict and that kind of thing. Look, Coming let's look at the Brett share yes, price because it was really on fire, really doing exceptionally well. We bought them in the run up in 2015, but it's kind of fallen away. But remember, part of the run up has to do with the fact that they owned Pepcor, which they sold to Steinhoff for Steinhoff shares and then sold the Steinhoff shares at all time highs. So in a way, that left hand slope there is indicative of like the best Christmas ever, like the <laughs> biggest deal of the century. And now, of course, the market backs And going into leaner them. times as Boxing Day comes and you're eating scraps. And they immediately used all of that money to power into the market yeah. and buy Virgin Active and buy New Look and buy, you know, more stakes in, in and, Iceland. And again, we've got to uh, talk about the timing here because Brexit took everybody by surprise. Look, John Notter is a very talented guy. Um, Chris Tovisa is still invested in this vehicle. So you've got to back them, I think, to you know, take the steps necessary. Wait, wait, let's just, just unpack what you've said. Yeah. I've got to, we've got to back them, I think. It doesn't sound 100% <laughs> convinced to me. He thinks we've got to back them. We do look, hold brace. Look, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, the timing looked good in the run-up. Uh, and uh, the RAND also depreciated significantly against the pound, and that really pushed uh, the, the last uh, push of the share price. I think if we stand back and say, yeah, we didn't expect Be Brexit, but Brexit is here, and now we're having to, to deal with the fallout, I think it's going to create a tough uh, environment for them. They do have significant exposure to that UK economy. It doesn't matter how good an operator you are, this is a difficult market. It's showing up in the numbers. There's a lot of leverage in the underlying investments. There's leverage at the holding company. It's, it's going to be tough from here. Theresa May certainly got a tough job to negotiate this one. Yeah, look, I think the Brexit thing, it looks as though, even though the court in the UK said that MPs had to be involved, it looks as though Theresa May and her colleagues are going to press ahead with that. Having said that, I don't think the UK economy is going to collapse because it's a big economy with lots of skillful people. So there could be some sort of temporary setbacks, but I think in time it'll be fine. Secondly, people don't stop needing clothes, you know? I don't know, Paul. I'm a big fan of free market economics, and uh, I just can't see, you know, closing up and barriers and putting up barriers and walls, and it mm. just isn't kind of first world thinking. It's definitely not optimal. I think that much is clear. Mm. But I think the point is that you know, in business, it's like sport. You know, it doesn't really matter what you did in the past. From the point of view now going forward, John Nodder and his team have to say, right, these are the assets we own. How are we going to work these mm. well? And I don't think the debt is an issue. I think it's about trading. It's about top line revenue growth and whether they can engineer that. So let's call it hot or not, Rowan? Yep, not for me. Not hot. Ooh. We Look, own it's, it, we own it's it. It's regrettable, and my sense is that the market has given it a severe haircut down to the current level. I'll be interested to see how it trades during the course of today with those new look results having come in. 
But I'm still going to call it hot and say that at current levels it has more but your, sunshine your upside. But your level of conviction is not that high that if we did have any more money you would actually buy in given the haircut that it's taken? No, I wouldn't say it's that at all because clearly we've got to get through the next forthcoming months and the triggering of Article 50 and all of the related issues that mm. will still happen in Europe.